In this video, I'm going to be explaining how you could bind your chinchillas. Now, as a reminder, I've binded over 50 chinchillas and with over three years' experience. And with that being said, a method that people commonly use is called smushing, where they put them into a jar, a closed container, or a crate, and try to bond them that way. That has not worked for me at all. Even given it a large amount of time, introduce that method has not worked, and I would not recommend it, because eventually, within a month or so, they end up fighting, getting back to square one with not liking each other again. So, here's first what you do before you when you want to bond into chilla. You're going to need at least two separate cages. And it works best to do this way because so they could see each other side by side. The cages would have to be sitting side by side so they could smell each other and get it used to each other's scent. Every few days, what you do is when you clean the cage, make sure you leave a little bit of their scent behind, maybe all their toys or houses, leave all that stuff behind and just swap the chinchilla into each of each other's different houses or their cages. What that would do is definitely give them a chance to get to know each other and get used to each other scent and being around each other and get more used to each other being there in their presence. Now they may try to fight through the bars but that will be usually just a temporary thing that they will do. Regarding dust bath time, considering you know it's like how I have different chinchillas, a lot of different chinchillas, more than you know I have males and females and what I do is I have a separate cage just for that. Now, method of bonding, you'd have to definitely have a separate cage outside of their cage for the dust bath time, whenever you're first introducing them to each other. And what you do is you put the baby powder into their dust bath, or you could even put the baby powder on the chins. And before you put them in there together, you want to clip, have somebody help you clip off some of the whiskers. I don't know, I may be using the wrong term, but that's what you want to do. Because what that would then do is, is since uh, chinchillas usually of longer whiskers will identify themselves as the dominant of who's boss into that environment. And whenever you cut them, the whiskers, that will even out the playing field for the ch chins. And their senses of superiority will, know, will be a little off. So whenever you neutralize the smells with the baby powder into the dust bath, into the new cage with no base scent in it, and you let them in there for an hour, that lets them get established of who's boss, but in a nice, calm, gentle manner. Now, you're not going to do that just one time, this method. You're going to do it at least several times through at least a month and a half for this to work. It's not going to be a quick fix. It's not going to be a quick bonding experience. you got to give it time for this thing to work, for them to be able to bond and get used to each other. So, a continuous swapping of cages, during cage cleaning time and two cages definitely sent side by side. Now if you've seen over this channel and over my animal channel of all the different chinchillas I've put together. So with my current 20 I didn't have one problem whatsoever. Just keep in mind there are chinchillas, maybe rescues that are out there that may not ever be able to be housed with another chinchilla. I have one that is not going to be able to be housed with anybody because of the people that came he came from, the children would torment him and abuse him and it took me seven months to get him to be friendly and domesticated to me. He's only domesticated to me only and nobody else, which I don't know why, but that's the way he is. That's, he don't like other chins. <clears throat> Several attempts over the year to try to house him with somebody else has failed and he would just try to fight even the opposite sex, the female. Even, even at a distance of pushing the cages even close to him, result of him trying to fight through the cage so there are some chinchillas you just can't put together because they just don't like each other for whatever reason that they established they don't like each other now trying to force chinchillas together like that and like smushing into a jar or a little crate the result eventually with them fighting in the night it might end up harming each other especially if the two chinchillas decided they don't like each other just imagine yourself being stuck with somebody you don't like it ain't gonna be a happy fun time either so, I hope that is helpful. I hope you follow the tips given, and good luck.